Good morning. Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> I'm greatly honored to be here today with my friends and partners, Zahid and Yvette, to welcome you all to this amazing event. My foundation is proud to co-host this fantastic gathering of like-minded people, all of whom want to make a difference and make this world of ours more happy, healthy, prosperous, and secure. Business has to understand that the privilege of being allowed to make money comes at a price, and the price is that it has to be responsible. Business needs to be inclusive and not exclusive. Business would make such a better world if it inserts the little letter I before deals so that the focus becomes ideals and not deals. <laughs> As we will hear, Friedman's doctrine of the sole purpose of business to make money is well outdated. You will listen to some amazing speakers here today on some very pressing topics. The work of my own foundation is focused on three key areas, which are building inclusive and sustainable communities, education, and as we heard, inclusive capitalism. Rather than detail the work we do in these areas, let me highlight a few aphorisms which I believe succinctly capture our work. <coughs> Firstly, there was once a man who was so poor that all he had was money. Secondly, a wise man builds bridges, a fool builds walls. <laughs> Thirdly, it is easier to form a child than to repair an adult. Fourthly, a savage is not one that lives in the forest, but one who destroys it. Fifthly, there is no Wi-Fi in the forest, but you get much better connectivity. <laughs> Sixth, he that has read only one book is very dangerous. Seven, if you want to plant for one year, you plant rice. If you want to plant for 10 years, you plant a tree. Eight, you cannot change the world through one person, but you can change it for one person. Nine, trust comes on foot and leaves on horseback. Ten, when God blesses you with money, don't only raise your standard of living, but also raise your standard of giving. You are all involved with money, hopefully making money or giving money away. But remember what money can buy. It can buy a bed, but not sleep. It can buy a clock, but not time. It can buy a book, but not knowledge. It can buy a position, but not respect. It can buy medicine, but not health. It can buy amusement, but not happiness. It can buy acquaintances, but not friendship. It can buy obedience, but not faithfulness. And finally, it can buy a home, but not a house. Sorry, it can buy a house, but not a home. <laughs> For all of us, including myself, if there is one rule that I believe should guide us into everything we do, it is the golden rule. Do only unto others what you would want others to do unto you. This is such a powerful concept that if you are interested, some of the finest global minds that I've had to work with and thought leaders, including Al Gore, Desmond Tutu, the Vatican, Mo Ibrahim, Mark Wilson, Paul Polman, have all written remarkable chapters in a book called Imaginals, in which they describe how the golden rule has influenced the way in which they live, the way they treat people, the way they do business, etc. This book was published by a foundation of which I'm proud to be a trustee called Reboot the Future. For those of you that are interested, the bookstall outside has a stock of these for sale. Indeed, the book is becoming an increasingly important component of business education and executive education. Now I will stop speaking because as they say, those who speak a lot know nothing, and those that know a lot say nothing. 
enjoy your time here and remember that the purpose of life is to lead a life of purpose. Thank you.